Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Will they come back for Virgo? Uh, this is going to be in your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign for June 2022. So we're going to take a look at someone that's on your mind, that, that you're in no contact with, that you're in separation with. We're going to see what this person's over energies are like, what they're currently feeling and thinking towards you, and then we'll finish off the read to see if this person will come back towards you. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch to rules if you want. Even though this is love focused, this could be with anybody. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message uh, didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, Virgo, let's get started. Tell me about the person that Virgo is currently in no contact with or is in separation with. Um, what is this person's current over energies like? What are they thinking and feeling towards Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo for June 2022. We got the world, okay. We got the nine of swords. So we have someone here that's stressed out, losing sleep. They're worried that the connection between you and them is over. We have the six of pentacles, and then we have the star. We have someone here that wants to heal the connection, I feel. You know, I feel like the, the separation happened is because it was a lack of ego give and take here. Aquarius energy with that star. We got the Eight of Pentacles here. Seems like someone here is definitely trying to distract themselves. Or, yeah, it seems like someone here is trying to distract themselves. Whoever this is, someone here is trying to avoid their feelings here. Because this person's actually really hurting over this. Yeah. They're hurting over the loss here. Yeah, someone here doesn't want to face their pain. Someone here is thinking of you, missing you, seeing you as their wish fulfillment here, Virgo. Tell me about the world. Why is the world card here? We have the Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. We have the Empress in the reverse here. You're dealing with someone here who's incredibly codependent and needy here. We have someone here who has a lot of regret here. A lot of regret that they couldn't give to this connection. Yeah, or that they couldn't give you what you were looking for here, okay? So the Five of Cups, we have the Empress in the reverse, Libra, Taurus energy. This is someone here that you, that you were dealing with that where there was a lack of growth and expansion in this connection here, okay? You know, I feel like this person was very needy. This person was very codependent, okay? I feel like this is an individual that couldn't stand on their own two feet. I feel like this person needed to be watched a lot because I feel like this is... Someone here who could get into trouble, yeah? So the Six of Pentacles, seems like you were dealing with a kid here, Virgo. Six of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the uh, Star. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. I, I feel like this person is really stuck in this like really depressed, mopey, sad energy. And they feel like they feel like they can't bring this back together or that you have released them or that they need to release you or let you go. It seems like you guys are both on different wavelengths, consciousness levels here. Just, yeah, it just seems like someone here is trying to release you, let you go. Eight of Pentacles or that you already have let this person go. Eight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Um, don't expect any communication from this individual. This person's really sul sulking in regret. Yeah. They're trying to distract themselves, okay? I feel like this person might be daydreaming about you a lot or daydreaming about this connection a lot. I feel like they're, they're, they're thinking about, like, they're trying to figure out how to repair this connection. 
Will this person come back towards Virgo? Will this person come back towards Virgo? I feel like this person does want to come back, but I just feel like, you know, this person's just not ready to communicate or that maybe they feel that you're not ready to communicate with them. You know, so the Five of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands and the Reverse and the Two of Swords. Someone here knows that there is no future in this connection here. Because I feel like someone here is really stuck in this like very negative energy, Virgo. This person's experiencing a lot of change, a lot of conflict in their life. I feel like this person doesn't really just have conflict with you, but I feel like this person has conflict with a bunch of other people. And I feel like in their work life, I feel like this person also have, has conflict with these people also. We have the Two of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So I feel like this person's trying to make a decision whether to come forward towards you or not. But, you know, I just feel like they're just stuck trying to decide. I mean, they're not really taking any, any action at the moment. At the moment, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with that Knight of Cups there. And this person's confused. This person's lost. Uh, it could be a situation that this person could have been dealing with other people here that ended the connection here. The Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this person is non committal. I feel like you were dealing with an Empress that was all over the place. Yeah, so um, Sagittarius energy, Scorp uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo with that Knight of Wands here. Tell me about the Three of Wands in the reverse. You have the Magician. Tell me about this uh, Two of Swords. We have Judgment here. You know, I feel like this person doesn't have what it takes to make this work. I feel like how to make this work for this individual i feel like the answers are right in front of this person but i feel like this person is having trouble taking action doing it i don't know if it's because they feel like it's too hard or something like that sagittarius energy with that judgment um gemini virgo energy with that magician here uh two of wands the four of swords in the reverse tell me about this uh knight of cups in the page of pentacles this person is losing a lot of sleep over you, I feel. I feel like this person has a hard time resting. I feel like this person has a hard time shutting off their mind. Okay, so I feel like this person is constantly thinking about you. I do feel like this person wants to come back with an apology. They want to make you an offer here. But I feel like this person is still deciding. This person is still deciding here. And this person can't get out of their head. Look at that. We have the Nine of Wands here. I feel like this person also thinks a lot about their traumas that they've been through in life. I, I really feel like this person's really sulking in their in their regret here. Yeah, I, I just feel like this person is in such a negative space that it, just thinking so negatively, I feel like this person has a hard time getting out of it. And this person's in their own little world. Yeah, own little world here. This person is definitely escaping, trying to trying to distract themselves here, I feel. I guess trying to avoid conflict too, perhaps. I feel like this person doesn't want to fight. I feel like this person has really poor conflict resolution skills. Yeah, I, I feel like this person doesn't really do really great in work, like in the, in the work setting here either. Because I feel like this person has like a really hard time resolving problems. Okay, this is interesting because I feel like this is an individual that's always had a hard time also expressing themselves too. Okay, so I feel like because this person doesn't have an outlet of expressing themselves in the correct manner, I feel like it comes out in the, in, in the worst ways possible. And I feel like this might stem from this person's childhood traumas. Okay, so, um, so Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If this... Uh, if this resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one, okay? All right, thanks guys. Bye.